Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Michel and this is another episode of me training for the Transylvania 100 where I will be doing the ATK and today I'm doing the Minot Trail. This time I'll be doing it from Clemency all the way to Esch sur Alzette and starting in Clemency the trail is not too difficult there are a lot of flats there are some openings with fields and a part of it is also forest but nothing too difficult after which you will reach the city of Petange and from there you have to follow towards the train station now I must say that the indications are not great so you need to maybe have a GPX file downloaded from the Minia Trail and put it on your phone or your smartwatch or whatever you have and try to follow that as best you can because at some point you will miss out on those little signs of the M with the three arrows once you cross Petanche that's where the real work starts with a nice climb uphill next to the cemetery which then goes into a very steep climb and again here there's not much indication of where to go so try to follow your GPX as best as you can and from there the trail is way more exciting and you will follow it all the way down to Fond de Gras before you get there you have this super cool descent which looks a bit like a mountain bike descent something's coming out of my pocket here <laughs> and right now uh, I have passed Fond de Gras which is really cool to see because you have these old trains it is also called Train 1900 so there's some old trains there and in the weekend they move them around so again a cool attraction now once you get out of the Fond de Gras this is where I am right now it's mostly forest and flats and you continue towards La Sauvage so that's where I'm heading now anyway thank you for joining me on this run it's gonna be so much fun been a difficult trail for me so far not in terms of the trail itself but rather in terms of my mental state I've been tired had a long week and I feel it in my mental capacity to deal with the trail so far uh, sometimes I get kind of frustrated I remember to breathe calm down and just follow the instructions either on my phone or from all the previous runs that I did to take some of that experience and just <clears throat> use it in this trail run so sometimes it's not really the trail that gets you down but it's yourself it's a fight against you and only you in terms of how well you want to do and I think it's also important to do that from time to time why well, it's not gonna go great 100% of the time that I will be running the Transylvania 100. When I'm on that trail, I will inevitably get tired, perhaps frustrated over, I don't know, a piece of equipment, maybe clothing, maybe food, whatever it will be, it's going to happen. So that's what these training runs are also for, to just test the difficult moment and to make sure that you can get through it anyway.
So these long runs are not just to train the body and to run a lot. They are also for me to test food sources. So nutrition, uh, I tried potatoes, I tried wrap, I tried, what else did I try? I tried to just have energy bars. It is not enough. And so now I've been testing for two weeks, this rice, just plain uh, white rice, which I squished together in a little bowl. I added some uh, condiments, which have also some seaweed, some salt, some sesame. So just to add a bit of taste. And this is my game plan for the Transylvania 100. So far it's been working really well. So time for me to eat. I'll check in with you soon. And it's gone. It took me about one second to devour that, which is great. So it's a fast food source and it's probably what I will be using on race day as well. All right, I'm continuing now, leaving La Sauvage behind me, moving onwards towards Belvaux. And to be fair, that little rice pole really helped me feel a little bit better because I also got lost, went the wrong way. And so I took on an extra hill just for the fun of it, you know. Thought that I'm tired, right? But it's probably because I am not completely focused that this sort of mistakes happen. And the uh, most important thing for me is to just stay calm and try to deal with that negative influence and turn it into a positive. trail now has turned into this quite boring concrete road and it's getting quite late now it's 6 p.m. in the evening meaning that the sun <coughs> will turn off the lights in about 20 minutes I have my head torch with me but I hope to be in civilization before I even have to use that Diffidange behind me. I'm on a nice little trail. Not too difficult, but really cute. As you can see, it's all red. So that's why it's called the Minet Trail because there was a lot of mining going on at the turn of the century. And all those mines now are closed off. There's still a steel factory active though, in Belval, next to Belvaux. And the reason why the earth is red here is because there's iron in it and it rusts and that's what gives it this red color and so this trail basically follows all along the mining area in the southern part of Luxembourg and the only section that I still have to do 
is van Dudelange to Betonboer en van Schieflange to Betonboer. En dat will have finished the 90 kilometer Mina Trail. En ik zal put in een request to get my little badge and put it on my backpack. Just to be a true Mina Trail conqueror. But I've been running on this trail for about seven years now. And it is cool, exciting. There's a millions of paths that go left and right. So even after seven years, I can still find a trail that I've never had before and connected with another trail that I know and make new connections. So it is really worth coming here and doing this trail as well. Right, it's 6.15 now. As you can see, darkness is starting to creep in. So hopefully I'll be out of this forest and off this trail within the next 15 minutes. But I doubt it, let's see what happens. Right now I deviated a bit from the Minet Trail because there's a new bridge that was built recently which is only for pedestrians and cyclists. It connects Belval to Esch and it's a bit nicer than running on the street. So I only have about two kilometers left before I come into Esch Alzet. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. All right, I still have a bit to go, so I will say goodbye for now. See you in the next one. Ciao.